What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel, The Unpopular Party, hosted by me, Party Next Shore. And today, we are here to react to the latest episode of Baddie South. But before we get into that, let me hop into some formalities. First things first, tomorrow, Wednesdays, I will be hosting again on the Sparsons app. Hopefully, y'all can come party with me. If you made it last week, we had a good little vibe. This Wednesday, the theme is gonna be like college, school, back to school vibes. You know, if you got a PWI, HBCU, if you're in high school, whatever, rep your school. Please use the link in my link tree or that's gonna be posted in the community tab to create your profile that way you can party with me have fun with me all that good stuff second announcement if i'm posting less it's a reason i'm really trying to work on this zeus documentary because every time i turn around y'all be like where did i come here where did i come here i feel like Nicki minaj now and when it comes to like my youtube channel my youtube channel is my baby i love it uh and my mind just is always all over i'll be like i want to make this video i want to make this video and i just be like Bleak. Let's just take a step back and work on each video at a time. But well, as of now, I will keep y'all updated on baddies, but that's probably it until I get this video done. And I'm hoping to have it out by September. At the early, and I'm referring to the History of Zeus Network documentary, but I, I have like so many documentaries that I want, cause I want to try to start moving my channel more to like a documentary staff. Cause I'm kind of overreacting to Zeus shows. Like I'll do it if y'all want me to react to it. I like making the documentaries that I did. I feel like I can bring out my journalism some producer style. So yeah, third thing, baby, don't don't worry about why happiness is misplaced on this. I saw it on Amazon. I thought it was cute. I didn't even realize happiness was not spelled right until y'all mention it. But obviously it's doing the job because every time I walk in my living room, I be happy. So mind your business. First of all, I saw a question asking what I do interviews with um people on the reality show. Me personally, I'm not against it. I would love to do it. However, come I'm not gonna kiss no behind and try to get an interview done. I reached out to one girl, one girl to try to get an interview done. She agreed, we had it locked down, it was good to go. I was ready on my end, never heard from the girl. She went MIA. I said, don't worry about it, baby, don't, don't worry about it. If it happened, if it happened, if it don't, oh well. And finally, if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to this channel. Thank y'all so much for all the love and subscribers that y'all have been giving me and showing me. I'm so close to 10K subscribers and I'm just like, Wow, this is amazing. So thank y'all so much for all the love and support y'all send me. Y'all always tell me y'all feel good energy on this channel and I really pride myself on that because I always say I don't move with messy or malicious intent. We move with love over here. I'm just speaking the facts and reacting to whatever's put on TV, but I, at the end of the day, it's reality TV. I know how it can be edited. But yeah, but enough about that. Let me get started with my thoughts on this latest episode of Baddie. I, I, I thought I knew you. Don't mind my little tank top. Just came back from the gym and you know, I'm trying to get winter time fine. But anyway, we start this episode off with the continuation of Nally versus Rowley. Now, it's a whole lot, a whole lot. Nally is yelling, yeah, bitch, I punch you, you bleeding and all this. I'm like, she's just going on. And in the midst of this, Scotty didn't try to jump in, but what happened was Rowley took Scotty's phone and tried to throw it at Nally. Naturally, someone tried to throw your phone. Girl, don't throw my phone. So I have to be like, hey, do a little tutu, not jumping at Rowley, but she was just trying to get her phone back which is understandable. So while all this is going on, I'm peeping because I'm very observant. And I see Rock just like, man, chill out there, what's up? Like, chill out there, what's up? What, chill out there. Like, you know, just going back and forth. And she's really trying to press as slim, but we don't put a pin in there for right now because Natalie is just talking about like, she really talking like she did something. Like Natalie talking like she did her big one as they all like to say. But now she's like, I'm done, the camera crew, let's go. The extras, they can leave. I'm like Natalie, come on now, we too old for this, mama. And I'm not saying that in a bad way, just like, oh, maybe it's in a bad way. We too old for this, mama. As security and all them is taking Natalie upstairs, Rolly looking at Scotty like, what you trying to do? Scotty like, what you talking about? Rolly like, you just tried to jump in. Scotty like, girl, you just threw my phone. I kind of like Scotty. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. I, I like her. So next we see Jayla and Sway upstairs trying to talk to Natalie. Natalie called them all types of bees and all that stuff. So they just like, whatever, forget it. They was trying to talk to her, but she being rude. Now Jayla is like, we don't have time for this. Like we trying to go out. We don't have time to keep fighting. And which I do agree. Now back downstairs, for some reason, Rock is really trying to stir up an argument and argue with Slim. And it was very random. I think. I think it's just when that fighting energy gets in the air, Rock likes to, you know, play into that. For some reason, Rock is saying that Slim can't stand up for herself and she has to hide behind Rolly. And Slim like, I don't have to hide behind nobody. Now you got a problem with me, cause you was popping it. Wow. Strong. 
Okay? Because y'all always coming at me. I'm in a room with nine I'm other fucking coming bitches. At you. I'm in a room with nine other bitches, bro. Slim is like, we already fought. What we gonna fight again for? We fought. I didn't hide behind her. Like, I did that on my own. I kind of agree with Slim. Like, Rock and Slim, they didn't have, they fought and did whatever. I know for a fact, Slim does not hide behind Rolly. If Slim got a problem with Slim to do some, she gonna do it. I seen it firsthand on one more chance. But it's more of a continuation back and forth. Rock, Rock is really just calling her like a B and stuff like that. Slim like, yeah, I'm that B. You're a bitch. Okay, straight up. Okay. I don't care. Okay. I'll be a bitch. bitch and I'm that bitch, yeah bitch. Rock keeps saying Slim is scared. I don't think that's the case at all because that's the case Slim would've never ran up on Rock. Kept running up on Rock, but like Slim said, I got beat up Rock, but you want to keep fighting me more. The conversation then escalates when Rock was like, you 25 acting how you act. And which I, I, I was like, I knew that girl. Y'all in the conversation talking about some Slim or some 34. I knew that girl with no 34. That girl is 25. Rock said that like, that's just old. Like, yeah, Slim, you Girl, you 22. You you 22 acting like you 18. I understand exactly where Slim was coming from. But Slim is really over it. And she's outside at this point going off. Rolly is out there with her. She's like, I didn't sign up to fight 24-7. Just get into it bickering and all that good stuff. Well, not all that good stuff. Slim is just like, she's done. Like, she want to go home. She's like, forget it. Uh, she's sick of it. She's like, she, she's sick of it. She's over it. She's agitated. And I, I know that feeling when you just, some, you thought it was going to play out one way and it didn't. You just get aggravated. Like, I'm, I'm aggravated right now. I'm irritated. So once that situation blows over, we see the girls getting ready to go out. I guess they decided that they still going to go out. And it popped up in her confession. I said, oh, I forgot about that girl. I said, it's been a minute. I guess Ann said, I'm just going to calm down. I did my little... Whatever, I'm, I'm good. So they in the baddest book. Natalie is telling Bree that she shouldn't have invited them, you know, Slim and Rock over. Bree like, I messed with them. Jayla then proceeds to ask Bree. She was like, why are you so ride or die for Slim and Rolly? And Bree's just like, they ain't do nothing to me. Like, I like them, I vibe with them. Jayla's like, it's okay to be like, oh, I like them, but you moving funny. But I was like, Jayla, why would she say that? They not moving funny towards her. That's why she invited them. That's why she hanging out with them. And I feel Bree on that. Just cause y'all into them about it. I ain't gotta be into them. They moving weird to y'all. They moving just fine to me. And then Natalie looking at Scotty, and she's like, Scotty, that was really your fault, but you know what? We like, I'll put you. And I'm like, girl, you just act like, you just <laughs> saying that like you just really took care of something. I can see if you just had Rolly that whopping her. Huh? Both of y'all walked away with no wig on. And, and speaking of no wig, Natalie in the car looking like she getting ready to go to a softball practice with this baseball cap on and army t-shirt and leggings. Props to Natalie, props to her, cause baby. And Scotty says she's not a fighter. Like, she's not a fighter, but she will fight. I'm the same way. I don't want to fight. I'm not a fighter. I never understood, like, how people can get so mad, especially for people that they don't know and never going to see it again to the point where they want to fight. However, comma, don't let it fool you because if it come down to it, I'm going to defend myself. We're going to get the do-do-do. Win, lose, or draw, I'm going to get my licks in. And, and that's my mentality. So, I feel Scotty on that. Ellie then said that Roly and them was trying to expose her and they was going to post some stuff up about her and stuff like that. I don't know. I don't necessarily, not necessarily say I didn't believe it, but I was like, that's, I don't know. Everything that they have out there about Natalie, no, we already, and, and the streets talk, the, 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 the streets talk, but that's not my place to put out there. Anyways, they arrive on Bourbon Street, and as they get on Bourbon Street, just, guess who just so happened to be there? Rolly and Slim. I said, okay. Rolly says she convinced them to go out with her because, you know, they want to still have a good time. So, yeah, I said, okay, y'all, y'all got it. So, they throw on the bees. They having a good time. Um, I, I'm not sure what day of the week they went, but it wasn't really a lot of people out. But, you know, they were still having a good time. It's a vibe. They hanging out with people, and as they hanging out, you know, Rail pops up. You know, the bad boy, where the money reside, he pops up with them. They having a good little time. And yeah, it's just showing them partying. As they walk in, Jayla sees a reader. The reader grabs Jayla, talks to her. She feels aligned spiritually. I said, okay. They also see Snake. And y'all know Jayla, she don't mess with snakes. But, you know, they passing the snake around. They putting it on it. They, you know, wearing the snake. Slim got scared. She was like, I'll take the snake off me. <laughs> So now at this point, they in the club, they turn it up, and just so happened, Rolly and Natalie hash it out, and i.e. they got drunk. And they were just like, you know, it ain't really that deep. And which, to a certain extent, a certain extent, I could feel that. Because you know, you ever just got into it with somebody, and like, it really don't be that deep, and it's really not that big of a deal to you. And then, y'all just get drunk, and just like, hey, come here, you know what I mean? However, come on, I ain't never fought nobody. <laughs> and then, Went out and then just was like, oh, we go like, nah, you you just hit me. You tried to do physical harm to me. So then they partying, they turn it up. Fast forward, it finally happened. Zeus, no, Zeus. Zeus, no, they are no good for what they just did. So let me paint the picture. 
They got robbed. So if you know this whole season, Rock been on the run from the US Marshals, whoever, you know, she had the war down for a rip. And she missed court. So, you know, girl, you're going to jail. They've been out looking for her. They finally caught up to her. As they was about to leave New Orleans, headed to Houston. They they got her. It was the US Marshal. As they got and now, now don't get me wrong, the scene was sad. Like the scene was very sad. She was crying. You know, they was putting her in the car. She was crying. She was like, Jayla. Like that that was sad. And I'm pretty sure this was a very traumatizing situation for Rock. Come. On. Why did they put this set it off day after day song? And I just was like, I know, I know Zeus didn't do this. And Krishan is captured and the U.S. Marshals take her. Day after day, seems like I push a... Who in the production room, as they was editing this, just was like, this is okay. We're going to put this out there. Who even got the license from the movie, set it off, to even put this in Zeus Network. And then I did a reaction to it on TikTok. Y'all was telling me that y'all feel like Natalie called the cops. I said, ooh. And which I feel like Zeus, I, I ain't gonna lie, that dude sound like some Zeus would do. Like, okay, you've been dragging the storyline for the longest, let's go and get her arrested. But she didn't She didn't even last in jail in no time. Like, she was out the next day, so it is what it is. Next week, though, next week they're coming to, it's almost to the season finale. I don't even think they put on the reunion, but, but anyway, they're coming close to the season finale and we see more bad boys because they're going to Anthony party. And Miss Star, Sydney Star, she finds her way back and she's there going off on it. But this time it gets a little bit more, um, I'm, I'm, it, gets, it gets a little bit more aggressive this time. The is being extra. I'm not gonna say being extra because I ain't seen it just yet, but he's like throwing stuff at her, like pushing her, like, yeah, he, yeah he's still a little aggressive. But that is all that I have for this video on Baddie Sal. What do you guys think of this episode? Did y'all enjoy it? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as y'all always do. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.